add audio elements to the project panel, you can click on the Import File button and select the first entry on the list. Alternatively, you can drag files from an external browser into the project panel. Let's add the EDM drum loop WAV file, as the WAV format can only contain audio. We'll go over how to use files that contain both visual and audio elements in another tutorial. Simply drag it into the audio mix to create a new layer that references this audio source. Now let's add a graphic element to the visual stack by adding a circle generator. Both elements are indexed as 001 because they're part of two separate stacks, one for visual elements and one for audio elements. Let's give some more space to the timeline and the audio section. Unfolding this audio layer will give you access to various parameters, including the waveform parameter. If you expand this section, you can see the audio signal. So let's go ahead and play the composition. In addition to hearing the audio track, you'll see a peak meter on the right side of the viewer. You can show it or hide it by clicking on the button at the top right of the viewer. During playback, you'll see the audio level change in the peak meter, and sometimes yellow blocks might appear at the top. These yellow blocks indicate that the sound saturation is above the allowed maximum level, so sometimes the sound level of the original file exceeds this maximum. Let's use the free audio software Audacity and import the same file. Analyzing the waveform shows that some levels are very close to or even exceed the maximum. Audacity lets you visualize sound saturation by going to the View, Show Clipping in Waveform menu. The red bar on the fourth beat indicates that the maximum level has been exceeded. In Autograph, these overloads as well as reaching the maximum level are represented by a yellow square displayed here on the left channel. In order to prevent reaching the maximum level, we can adjust the volume gain parameter to reduce the overall amplitude of the signal. Any modifications made to this audio layer, whether it be volume reduction or the addition of a modifier, will update the source waveform. In this video, we went over how to add an audio source to an audio mix, display its waveform, and reduce its amplitude using the volume gain parameter.